at these kind of like the foundational sciences of public health, where we kind of do the analysis, but we're also doing investigations and kind of like looking at what determines a uh, health outcome. Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Chris, and we're back in the studio. <laughs> Today we got my guy, Yun. What's so. up? How you guys doing? Thanks for being here, man. Yep, thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, and he is, well, you can just tell them what you, your degree and stuff. Uh, so I got my Bachelor's of Science in Biology with a minor in Global Health, and then I got my Master's in Public Health um, in Epidemiology. Okay. Yeah, so he did all that, and he's graduated in college. He has a job in the public health field, so we're just going to dive in and see what Nyan does on a day-to-day -day basis, like does he like his job or not, whatever. Um, and then like his mindset through it going throughout college All right, so I guess we just go straight into it. Yep. Um, so you got your undergrad in biology and uh, Minor in global health. Can you take us through like how you decided to go that route? Yeah, so um, I actually started off in a engineering field. Um, I got I enrolled as an engineering student uh, my freshman year but then I just really couldn't do calculus and physics. Oh, right. That just wasn't my my thing. Um, so then I switched to bio kind of just because um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I kind of just mm -hmm. fell back into what I was comfortable with. I took like AP bio and things yeah. like that. I so. bet you wish we had this channel when you were, <laughs> when you were growing up. Yeah so maybe yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah so I kind of just fell into bio and I kind of like jumped around for what I wanted to do. Whether uh -huh. I wanted to do like bench work, um, mm -hmm. go into research or maybe go down the path of medical and things like that. Yeah. Um, but then I took a course uh, in health disparities, which is kind of like looking at the differences in health on racial differences. Um, and that kind of like opened my eyes into the public health world. Okay. And then uh, there weren't a lot of public health options as an undergrad. Yeah. Um, so the only minor there was was global health. And so that's kind of what introduced me into public health. Okay. So you got your bio degree just because like you didn't really know what to do but bio is like kind of a safe thing to fall back on because you know it opens doors to go to like maybe like med school or something yeah definitely yeah yeah it's just kind of it's pretty broad so you can really like focus yeah, on different yeah. things you can go into certain tracks or you can just stay general and kind of like just take everything in so and after you took that class and you got your minor that did that prompt you to go into get your master's yeah, um, I always thought um, higher education was like my path. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to stop after undergrad, kind of just because I was in that science field and there's not much you can do yeah. um, after your bachelor's. I agree. Just, <laughs> I agree. A lot of people don't know that at first, but that's kind of like how it ends up. Um, and I kind of jumped around different things, like I said, but uh, I did some kind of internships and uh, exploratory kind of things that got me into public health, and that's yeah. why I ended up in that. And field. You, your public health is in epidemiology specifically. Are there different types of like public health uh, uh, specialties and? How did you choose epidemiology? Yeah, so um, public health kind of usually has like five major topics. There's like um, biostatistics, epidemiology, environmental health, uh, health services, and I can't really think of another one, <laughs> maybe four. Um, so they're all different kinds of aspects. One is maybe like more consulting, health education, um, more biostatistics is just crunching numbers really pretty much. Um, and environmental health is more analyzing the environment, things like that, and not working with people uh, and human diseases. Yeah. Um, and epi is kind of like a mixture of like everything. Um, everyone says epi is kind of like the foundational sciences of public health, where we kind of do the analysis, but we're also doing investigations and kind of like looking at what determines uh, health outcomes. So it's the fun one. Yeah. I <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so you got. So you got your bio because you didn't know what to do. And uh, I feel like most people who get like a life science degree, like, I don't know, like bio, like biochem, like those sorts of degrees, they go into like a higher education that's not a master's, but more like, you know, like medicine or dental or something like along those lines. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever consider going into like medicine? Yeah, I did for like about a semester or a year. Um, like I said, the public health versus medicine is pretty similar. Um, yeah. The way I saw it was medicine's kind of like individual treatment, um, kind of like when they're already sick, you want them to get better. And whereas public health is more community based and preventing disease. And I thought that made more sense in my head. Yeah, We'd rather prevent a lot of people from getting sick versus treating an individual yeah, person that um, makes so sense. in my in my experiences that's what I wanted to focus on I agree so I agree thinking. with that too um, so how many total years of school do you do I did six well I did some extra years but six towards those degrees okay so like four <laughs> undergrad and then two, two masters. masters yeah okay cool okay 
So that basically takes care of all the schooling questions. Uh, let's just jump into your job. So can you tell us like a little bit about like what you do, where you work, and yep. like day to day? Yeah, so I'm an epidemiologist at the Washington State Department of Health. Um, I work in the Office of Commun Communicable Diseases, of, uh, and I work on vaccine preventable diseases, mostly um, as an enhanced mump surveillance. In 2016-2017, mm. Washington had a pretty big mumps outbreak. Yeah, and so I they got that, this, yeah <laughs> it, it was it hit uh, UW for a little bit, um, mm. and so yeah. kind of focus on working on um, tracking the mumps activity in the state of Washington. So. There's two kind of aspects of my job. One is like that data analysis, and one is kind of like tracking diseases. Um, so we work with so the way Washington is set up. We work with the local health jurisdictions, so kind of like the county levels, and we work with them to kind of like investigate um, diseases. If we have like notifi notifiable conditions, so certain diseases need to be reported to us, and that's the ones we do investigations investigations on. So those those are your big ones, kind of like E. coli, yeah. um, flu. Uh, measles, mumps, things like that. Um, so they have. Like, you guys are like the first responders. Kind of, of, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the health department kind of finds out. The doctor, you go to the doc. When you're sick, you go to the doctor. Yeah. If the doctor thinks you have something suspicious, they report it to the health department, so then they can uh, do more okay. investigations and things like that. Because doctors don't have time yeah. to like kind of ask yeah, yeah. in d detail stuff, and so it's kind of our role to find out where they were and like why they got it, so that we can try and find out what the source is. Okay. Things like that. So, so you guys are like the guys behind the scenes. Yeah. Like, sort of. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we don't get all the glory and things yeah. like that. We don't get the pay. We don't get the glory. Yeah, but that's we, true. The doctors do the, get the pay yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, but we do all the like the important work, so kind of like the like the flu vaccine things like that yeah. and preventing diseases okay um so that's kind of like one part of my job and the other part is kind of like um data analysis so when we find out those people have um are sick we kind of keep track of that and then we analyze like what are the trends going on um are there certain age groups that are getting hit by pertussis or whooping cough more and then kind of looking at track checking that so then we, we can like provide that information to other people so they can uh, make recommendations or changes so that um maybe vaccine recommendations or uh, things like that. Okay, nice. That's that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then in terms of like getting your job, can you tell us like a little bit about like how you heard about the position, like, and then how much like networking and like internship like work experience like played into getting yeah. your job? Yeah. So my job got really. I got started at the health department based on connections. Uh, so I went and go my first year as on uh, as a graduate student wow. um, i went to talk to my professor um, he kind of taught the methods of my coursework oh, okay. um, i told him what i was interested in how i can get involved i was interested in infectious disease and more applied work um, ma your master's is usually pretty academic based yeah. and so it's kind of like a two different worlds almost so um, like not that much experience yeah okay um yeah so you're learning about methods and how to do your own research not like working in applied work and working with people and investigations and stuff like that and so my um, professor told me to talk to my TA, who told me to talk to her mentor, who, talk, who, oh, <laughs> who told me about someone who worked for her, um, who works at the health department now. And so it was just connections, connections, connections that got me to my um, summer practicum, which was my internship that yeah. everyone has to do. And that led into um, a part-time job. Um, which led to full time, which led to my current position now. So many, so, many connections. Yeah, so it's pretty much uh, learning other people and then kind of like making sure that you make a statement so they yeah. know you're good enough, you, mm -hmm. you have the skills, and then you kind of just kind of get st stuck in there. If they yeah. like you, they keep you. Because I feel like a lot of people like have the skills. It's just like about like who you know yeah. to get the job in the first place because like so many people can do the job yeah, already. Definitely, especially yeah. when people who um, don't they grew up not knowing a lot of people it's a it's a struggle yeah. so it's getting out there and like talking to people and okay i think that's that. really important to know yeah yeah okay um and then so in terms of like job mobility like what are you looking at like moving up wise and do you think like you're gonna stay at this job forever or? uh i don't think forever um so there's like so epi positions are kind of three tiered um there's epi one epi two epi three epi one's int entry level which yeah. i'm where i'm at right now um epi epi two is kind of uh more subject matter experts so people who you go to for uh like expertise in like rabies or zoonotic diseases or the vaccine renal diseases. And then there's epi three, which is more senior level and almost managerial um, kind of roles. Okay. And so there's there's room for growth. It's, it all kind of comes with years of experience and learning more um, and then kind of just getting into that right system. So I guess your goal like probably is ultimately to go to like epi, get to epi three. Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see how I want, how yeah. I feel about managing people. Yeah. Um, that's not my style right now. Um, Do you think you'll stay at like the same company too or just um, like switch? I'll probably switch 
eventually. Um, the way the political structure is um, in Washington, it's kind of uh, local health has the, the authority, whereas the state is kind of like guidance. And so uh, we don't I get see. to do a lot of things based on what the county says. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to try out different, maybe the county level or maybe try a different state, kind of see how things are run differently and kind of experience that. Yeah. Yeah, just like get a, like a more broad like range of experience. Yeah, definitely as a as like uh, a new epi, I kind of want to learn more about what the, what else is out there. I don't want to get stuck into one system. And yeah, kind of think that's all there is. Okay, so and, and your job is more like state run then. Yeah, so all it's state run, so we kind of run under state policy, um, but we're all um, funded through uh, federal grants. Oh, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you guys are this is like taxpayer money. And yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, so. With that, like, on that topic, do you like your job? <laughs> <laughs> some days, some days I do. Some days it's pretty um, busy and interesting. Yeah. Um, well, some days it's like just sitting at a computer and yeah. typing. It's like, I feel like a biostatistician sometimes because I'm, like, I'm sitting there <laughs> typing, but that's like half the job only. Um, so sometimes when there is something going on, um, like if there's an outbreak or something, yeah. you're like on the ground, you're like talking to people, trying to find out who's sick and kind of like keeping track of like things like that. So that, that keeps you on your toes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we'll just uh, ask like two more questions to wrap it up. Yep. Um, so as a bio major, would you recommend kids get a bio degree? And as a uh, master's in public health um, major, I guess, would you recommend that? Yeah, uh, for bio, I guess, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like passionate about biology. <laughs> like you really want to know about like organisms and the cellular structure and stuff like that and do the research. Um, maybe if you want to create, like you can become bio, um, bio that leads to your master's and PhD where you can like um, create vaccines and things like that, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, that's kind of the research I did as an undergrad. Um, but if that's not your passion, I wouldn't recommend it because you can go um, if you want to go medical, you don't yeah. have to do life sciences. Yes. You can, That's what a lot of people don't understand. Yeah. Like if you want to go to higher education, you don't have to necessarily mm -hmm. do like a life science undergraduate. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes yeah. they even look for other things. And they like, want to see how diverse you are yeah. and how much personality so do, do, do you have. Did you know that coming into college? No, I definitely didn't know that not. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely Bio that. majors, <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I definitely learned that when I started talking to like entry entrance to medical and yeah. things like that. And it's like learning like you need to be more of a person yeah. than just I th and I think even that. nowadays, like people like want different, you know, undergrads like philosophy majors, yeah. and whatever, just like something completely arbitrary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely have to take the sciences because that's the yeah. general basics. But you can definitely go different yeah. paths. Yeah, I'll probably make a video on that later. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then as for the uh, masters of public health, would you recommend that? Yeah, I think public health is a really broad field, and you can do a lot of different things. And then you're really, it's like a field that's really helping others and mm -hmm. like making your community stronger. You can really get to know the people. Um, where you work, you can learn people who live there and really yeah. get to know them and like work on these relationships so that, that everyone benefits from it. Nice. Okay, final question. Um, if you could go back in time, <laughs> is there anything you would change? Uh, I think one thing that I kind of think about is taking more risk as an undergrad. Um, you you kind of get this idea when you're an undergrad, you have to get so much done in a certain time. Yeah. Um, but you're yeah. you're young. You're 18 years old. And you can really do pretty much anything you want and as an undergrad and kind of just taking risks and like yeah. i said i took i became a bio major because i felt comfortable in it yeah um just like taking more risks trying different things because you never know what you're good at until you try it so you like just i mean obviously academically speaking but also just you know like like joining clubs mm -hmm. or like going out and like doing sports or whatever like intramurals yeah that sort of stuff yeah definitely okay. just trying meeting people yeah. you never know Who's gonna be out there and who you're yeah. gonna meet? Connections. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, I came back. Comes back to that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Jan, thanks for coming on. Yep. It's been real. Yeah. For um, sure. Yeah. Be sure to you know like comment, subscribe, whatever if you liked it. <laughs> um, yeah. We out. All right. Thanks for having me. <laughs>